Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm Brandon Wirtz, and this is Cash Shake. I'm the director of marketing for HP Networking. And we're going to talk about the Flex Networks from HP. Yes, and Flex Network architecture is the industry's only architecture that is the consistent for the application um, in the data center all the way to the users. This is the exciting new um, uh, announcement that we made at Interop. Um, from the customer's point of view, it's really the architectural blueprint that we recommend our customers follow uh, when designing the network, and we provide solutions in terms of the products that enable these uh, technologies to really deploy the uh, consistent architecture with the Flex Network. And one of the big advantages of the Flex Network architecture is that it scales in three directions. Can you talk to me a little bit about uh, that? It's, it has five main characteristics. Number one, it's open standard-based architecture. So the products and technologies that we provide are based on industry standards. Secondly, uh, with regards to the standards, we recommend that the customers deploy standard-based protocols on the boundaries of the building blocks of the Flex Network architecture, which are really the Flex Fabric, Flex Campus and the Flex Branch, and if they design their network with the standards on the boundaries and within the layers of uh, the uh, building blocks, they have the ability to introduce um, uh, second vendor, mainly HP, in a way that it's least disruptive. So it's definitely um, standard-based, open. Secondly, it's scalable, as you pointed out. It's scalable in three dimensions, capacity, connectivity, and functionality. So depending on the customer requirement, they can scale in either one of these dimensions. Um, third, it's uh, secure. So all the three building blocks of the Flex Network architecture that I mentioned um, are secure and they provi we provide consistent security for all the three building blocks. It's um, agile. We recommend removing layers, unnecessary layers between the campus as well as the data center. With, we enable uh, the, the network managers to deploy technologies with fewer tiers, which really increases the performance and reduces the capex because uh, of the fewer tiers that we provide and recommend with the Flex Network architecture. And last but not least, it provides consistent experience in that we provide te consistent technologies across the three building blocks. So technologies such as um, resiliency that we provide with intelligent resilience framework consistent across all the three building blocks. We provide consistent management, which is a unique differentiator with our Flex Network architecture, with the Flex management and the technology that is really enabling this um, consistency is IMC, Intelligent Management Center, which provide consistency across all the three building blocks. So is it safe to say that as an IT manager that using the Flex Network architecture, I end up with a flatter network that's easier to administer because I have fewer tools to learn? Absolutely. Um, and then, you know, as, as I mentioned, you know, the, the additional layers at the end of the day are really increasing the cost and it's not really adding any value. In fact, it's reducing the performance of application in the data center and it's really deteriorating the experience of users that are using the mobile devices and all of us are using the mobile devices in the campus. So with the fewer tiers, it increases the performance of the application and increases the user experience. And Flex Network includes both wired and wireless technologies? Absolutely. We provide consistent experience for both wired and wireless, and we provide ability for the IT managers to manage both wired and wired consistently, and the access policies and the securities are consistent across the wired and wireless infrastructure.